Okay, hi guys, Mr. B here, and in this video we're going to be looking at what factors are. Okay, so let's have a look at the definition straight away. Definition of a factor is a number that will go exactly into another one without leaving a remainder. Okay, so that means if we uh, count on in that multiplication table, it will get exactly that number. I'll show you exactly what that means. Okay, so we've got 10 here, and I've wrote down the factors of 10. We've got 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay, now we know if we count on in one times table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we would get a 10 with no left over. Okay, we went to the 2 times table, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, we would get to 10 without any left over. 5, 5, 10, count that times table. Okay, we don't have any left over. And 10, obviously 1 times 10 is 10. Okay there. But if we look at a number like 3, if we kept in the 3 times table, 3, 6, 9, okay, we would get to 9 and then we'd have 1 left over, so it wouldn't go exactly in. So that's what a factor is. Now when we go in there, the easiest way to find the factors of a number is to work up uh, from 1, okay, and they will always come in what we call factor pairs, okay. So we have 1 here and 10, because 1 times 10 is 10. So we know they're there. Then we've got another factor pair, 2 and 5. Because 2 times 5, okay, equals 10. Okay, so factors tend to come in factor pairs mostly. We'll have a look when they don't a little bit later on. Okay, so the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. Because when we go in the multi uh, multiplication table, we work our way up, we get to 10 without there being any factors, uh, sorry, any remainders. Okay, so there'll be none left over. 12, we've got a factors there. 12 has more factors. So different numbers have different amounts of factors. Okay, it doesn't matter how big it is. Some bigger numbers might have less than small numbers up there. 10, we've seen got 4. 11, which we'll look at a little bit later, has 2. So it doesn't mean how big the number is as to how many factors they have. Okay, and again, let's look at our factor pairs. We've got 1 times 12. We've got 2 times 6. That equals 12. Oh. And then we've got 3 times 4. That equals 12. So we know those are all factors because they go exactly in there. Now, what you might hear some people uh, saying, or we might see some questions asking, is asking you to find common factors. Now, a common factor might say a question like, um, write down the common factors of 10 and 12. What that basically means is numbers that are factors for both of them. So if we have a look at these, we have 1. 2 is in both of those lists. 5 isn't, 10 isn't. So the common factors of those two numbers would be 1 and 2. And that's what a common factor is. Okay, now, I'm going to look here at 9. Now, the reason I'm looking at this one is because we always have factor pairs, but here we don't have factor pairs. Let's see what we've got. We've got 1 times 9 is 9, of course. Okay, but then we've got 3 there. There's no factor pair with that. Why? Because 3 times itself is 9, okay? 3 squared, which means number times itself, is 9. So this is another factor pair because 9 is a squared number. So squared numbers will not have factor pairs, okay? They might have factor pairs, but they will have one number which won't have a factor pair, okay? I've got another number here, which is 11. Now, 11 only has two factors, 1 times 11, okay? 2 times uh, go up there, we get a 10, then we'd go over 12, so we've got 10, uh, one left over we'd have. 3, we'd go to 9, and then uh, 12, so that wouldn't have them. Okay, and if we keep going up, those are the only factors. Now, I'm not going to go too much into this, because I'll look at it in another video, okay? But a number that only has two factors, that is what we call a prime number. We look at them in another video, okay? And the, all these numbers, because they have more than uh, one in itself as a factor, they are called composite numbers. Okay, so a couple of little things that we're going to look at extra with factors, okay? One thing always remember, one will be a factor of every number, because one times that number will be a fact, um, will always equal the same number, okay? So one will always be a factor, as well as the actual number you're looking at, okay? See there, one, 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 and then we've got 10 there, 12 there, 11 there, and nine there. So one and the number that you're looking for will always be factors of those numbers, okay, so that can help you out.
Also, when you're looking for factors, rather than going through every number, once you get up to halfway, so with 12, once we got to six, okay, I don't need to check any more numbers to see if they go in, okay? Because when I do go to seven, one times seven is seven, so I know that's not a factor, because the one times the number is always itself. When I go to two, because it is bigger than half, so two times seven is 14, it's always gonna be bigger than the number we're looking for. So rather than looking through, testing every number, we can work from uh, one up to halfway, and that will make us find out which ones are there. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that video, and I hope it helped you uh, with factors. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and obviously, if you need any more help, put the comments down there or on Facebook or Twitter. Send me a message and I'll see if I can help back. If you know anyone, of course, who will uh, benefit from the video and it might help them, share it. And apart from that, see you next time.